The call of the sea has fascinated man down the centuries. The seaways have taken him to strange lands and strange climes. Today, officers of the Indian Merchant Navy proudly sail our ships into ports all over the world. If they have kept aloft the banner of the Merchant Navy, they have to thank the Dufferin, for it was in this ship that they were trained for the job they are doing so well today. And now these young men, who have just passed the matriculation examination, have come here in answer to the same call. They have made their choice. The sea will be their career. And so here they are on the training ship Dufferin, which trains young men for a sea career. The day starts early on board the Dufferin, stationed in Bombay Harbor. The ship has to be kept clean and shining, and this is the responsibility of the cadets. These daily chores teach them the dignity of labor. These young men, ranging from 15 and a half to 18 years in age, and coming from all over the country, find a new comradeship. It is eight o'clock, time for hoisting the ensign. All work stops for a minute as cadets and officers alike stand to attention and salute the flag. Captain Superintendent speaks to the newcomers and tells them of the high traditions laid down by the cadets of Dufferin in the past. These traditions of service and integrity are sacred and each new trainee takes an oath of allegiance and promises to live up to the high traditions. Once the oath is taken, he is accepted as a full-fledged cadet. He receives the cadet's badge. This is the beginning of an exciting career. Then the parade, which the captain superintendent of the ship inspects every day. Great stress is laid on a smart turnout. A sea career calls for physical fitness and every care is taken to see that the cadets develop a strong and healthy physique. Playgrounds for outdoor games are provided on shore and the cadets visit them several times a week. Swimming, of course, is a must for every sailor. Two years training is academic as well as professional. Developing qualities of leadership forms an important part of it. The academic training includes subjects like geography, science, mathematics and current affairs apart from English and Hindi. The modern seafarer doesn't have a simple sailing boat to manage. He must learn to operate an ocean liner a massive and complicated product of science and technology. To take care of the professional training of the cadets, there are classes in ship construction, navigation, signaling, pilotage, chart work and electronics. Considerable expense is incurred on the training of these cadets who are carefully selected on the basis of a qualifying examination held all over India and an interview. The government of India bears a major portion of the expense, about 5,000 rupees per cadet annually. Each cadet has to spend, on an average, less than a thousand rupees a year himself. Besides, there are many scholarships offered to deserving students.
maintenance of the ship is an essential part of the training. Life at sea is an arduous one, involving great responsibilities. The training is thorough and as realistic as possible. When there is a man overboard, there is no time to lose. There must be split-second coordination of all jobs, for the man must be saved, even if it's only a drill. All exercises carried out in seagoing ships are regularly carried out on board. Strict discipline is maintained at all times. Once the training is over, these young men can become well-paid officers in the merchant navy with a bright future and opportunity to see the world. But life on the high seas lacks some of the comforts and amenities available on shore. These officers in the making get used to this early in their careers. So far, about 1,600 men trained in the Dufferin are serving in Indian and foreign shipping companies and port trusts besides the Indian Navy and other services. Some 80 cadets are admitted for training every year. A number of seamanship tests form part of the training. These tests are designed to promote initiative, qualities of leadership, self-reliance, adaptability, and team spirit. The last is most important. Cadets are constantly reminded that they have to work as a team if they have to keep the ship going. In fact, all competitions on board are designed to develop team spirit. The cadets are divided into six groups called tops. Each top is assigned a particular section of the ship. All competitions are between the groups and not between individual cadets. The cadets are under the constant though unobtrusive supervision by members of the training staff. The work of each cadet is watched and assessed carefully. Discussions and debates help the cadets to organize their thoughts and express them effectively. These are qualities which go to make a good officer. It is sunset. The day's work is over. It is time for recreation. A comfortable lounge with facilities for indoor games is provided in Dufferin. Often cadets and the staff get together for an informal question hour. These sessions not only help the cadets to increase their general knowledge, they help the teacher and the taught to know each other better. For a tough training like this, good and wholesome food is a must, and every care is taken to see that the cadets get it. It is a big day for the cadets. It is the day of the annual prize distribution. Each year the President's gold medal is awarded to the cadet having the qualities most likely to make the finest sailor. The time has come to say goodbye. The two years that these cadets have spent on the training ship will long be remembered by them. Now they are off to join the distinguished brotherhood of India's steadily growing merchant navy. In good time, they will take command of their ships. Wherever they go, they will be the country's unofficial ambassadors, and the training they received on board the Dufferin will stand them in good stead. Yes, these cadets are all set to answer the call of the...